hey guys, there are three different types of radiation you need to know about. Here's all the information you need on them. There are three different types of radiation you need to know about. Alpha, beta and gamma. Alpha radiation has this symbol here for alpha. It has a mass of four and an atomic number of two. That means it has two neutrons, two protons. Add the weight of those together and you get four. The two refers to the number of protons. Now, those of you that are paying attention will realize this is similar to something on your periodic table. 2 and 4 are also the numbers we get with helium nuclei. And this is a helium nuclei because there are no electrons. This is just two neutrons and two protons together. Beta radiation is the opposite of this. It is just an electron. No protons, no neutrons, just an electron. It has a mass of zero and an atomic number of minus one. Gamma radiation is a wave. It doesn't have any mass, it is just a wave. We can measure the life and the decay of radioactivity by looking at its half-life, the time taken for half of something to decay. So if something is at a hundred percent or this could be in counts per minute at day one, and it has a half-life, say, of four days. On day four, so after one half-life, it will be down to 50%. Another four days later, on day eight, it will be half again, so that is down to 25%. And then another four days later, so on day 12, it will be half again. So that is 12.5%. And this is the shape of the graph that we get. Now, alpha, beta and gamma radiation are stopped by different things. Alpha radiation is very, very big, but it means it doesn't get very far. It is stopped by paper. Beta radiation is much smaller and it will get a little bit further. It will go through paper, but is stopped by aluminium. And gamma radiation is just a wave, and that will need to be stopped by lead. Now, whenever I'm explaining this in class, I always describe it as thinking about going into a glass shop. There's lots and lots of glass everywhere. Alpha radiation is like throwing a bowling ball into a glass shop. You won't get very far, but it is highly ionising, so it will destroy a lot of things. Beta radiation is like throwing a baseball into a glass shop. You'll get a little bit further, but you'll destroy things on the way. And gamma radiation is like waving at a glass shop. You're going to get, you're going to be able to see the wave from quite a long way right away. Now, when we put these in a magnetic field, you're going to see some differences. The gamma radiation is going to go straight through. The alpha radiation is going to be deflected a little bit and the beta radiation is going to be deflected a lot more and in the opposite direction. In an electric field, again, the gamma radiation is going to go straight through. The beta radiation, which remember is a negative electron, is going to be attracted to the positive side. And the alpha radiation, which you remember is a helium nuclei, is going to be attracted to the negative side. Now, I've used the word ionisation quite a lot in here, and you might be familiar with the word iron from chemistry. An iron is an atom that has lost or gained electrons. And an alpha particle is just helium that has lost all of its electrons. So helium normally has two electrons around it like this, with two protons and two neutrons in the middle. This does not happen with an alpha particle. It is just 
the nuclei, just the bit in the middle. So we say it's really ionising because it's an iron that does something. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests or to see all the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Conos or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.